Our hymn is number 216. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Mighty Maker, whose command raised from the sea the solid land, and drove each filthy heap away, and bade the earth stand firm for us, that so with flowers of golden hue the seeds of each it might renew. And fruit trees bearing fruit might yield, and pleasant pasture of the field. Our spirits wrangling wounds efface with dewy freshness of thy grace, that grief might cleanse each seed of ill, and for each lust may triumph still. Let every soul I love obey, and keep from every evil way. Rejoice, each promise good to win, and flee from every mortal sin. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who in the Holy Ghost and me do live and reign eternally. Amen. Jesus who descended, is he who ascended far above all the heavens. Alleluia, praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the, of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne? He has rose from the heights to the ground to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From the dung heap he raises the poor. To stand him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus who descended, is he who ascended far above all the heavens. Involve the name of the Lord, 
wait for the day of his coming. Alleluia, I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name, O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just, our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts, I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your rest. For the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Invoke the name of the Lord. Wait for the day of His coming. If God is for us, who is against us? The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent, on a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above all my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. I am not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemies. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart, hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is for us, who is against us. Worthy is 
the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. <coughs> glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, what love the Father has bestowed on us in letting us be called children of God. Yet that is what we are. The reason the world does not recognize us is that it never recognized the Son. <coughs> Dearly beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall later be has not yet come to light. You know that when it comes to light, we shall be like him, or we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him keeps himself pure, as he is pure. Remember his promise of mercy. 
the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Let us praise Christ the Lord who lives among us, the people he redeemed, and let us sing. Lord, King and Ruler of nations, be with all your people and their governments. Inspire them to pursue the good of all according to your law. You made captive our captivity to our brothers who are enduring bodily or spiritual chains. Grant the freedom of the sons of God. May our young people be concerned with remaining blameless in your sight. And may they generously follow your call. May our children imitate your example and grow in wisdom and grace. For our upcoming weekend of blessings and all the preparations, all the volunteers, our employees, for Eagle Eye's website. Lord will watch over it, protect it. For Father John and Paul during his visit with us, may he be filled with grace and peace. For vocations to our community, to the priesthood, to religious life, and also for our future others. For all those recovering from natural disasters, For Joy, who died today for the Glenn, who will be going undergoing surgery, and for all our benefactors, Father Sam for his intentions, for Father Yaakov and his congregation, for my family who continue their trip and in this country, and especially for the cousins who are coming back tonight to Lithuania. For John and Rachel and their intentions, for Matt and Marie Howe and their family, and um, for Paul and Cassie that are not well. For Rebecca, who's with my family, and my dad's illness, and also for our family friend Ted, who just passed away. This is group that traveled for the coming here for a weekend of blessings, and that we can leave a blessing for them as they have been for us. For Lynn Kenny and for their friend Greta that we work with. For Sam and his family in Germany. Accept our dead brothers and sisters into your eternal kingdom, where we hope to reign with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. 
O God, who for the evangelization of people strengthen the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of October the 25th. The year of grace 385, the martyrdom of St. Crispin and Crispinian, venerated at (coughs) Western France. According to one tradition, they were shoemakers who profited from their humble work by converting their clients. Elsewhere, the hanging birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the book of